What's up YouTube? Mimi here, coming at you from my channel, Bunny Birdie Gator. This video is something I really want to share with you guys. It's what I eat to lose weight and I'm not a nutritionist or a dietitian, but I'm down 16 pounds with little exercise. I just started my workouts and my exercise program and I just really want to share with you guys what I've been eating to lose weight. So you guys come along with me while I grocery shop and I'll show you some of my favorite items to eat to lose weight. Every day I love to eat eggs. Sometimes I mix a whole egg with some egg whites. Sometimes I just eat two eggs. I fry them in olive oil or I scramble them or I do an omelet and I put mushrooms inside or spinach. But I love eggs and I think the protein really keeps you going when you're really trying to have good nutrition. Here's a favorite of mine and these are $5.98. You get 14 ounces. I love to eat these first thing in the morning and anytime I want some good protein I love to have these as a snack. I also bring these along with me when I'm running errands or I'm out all day. I mean these are such a perfect snack for me. I usually come over here to this section and they usually have a flaxseed uh, by Bob's Red Mill that I get. They just have the flaxseed meal here, but I love putting this in my green smoothies. During this diet, you guys, I have been staying away from white rice. I've also been staying away from chips, potatoes, and things like that. But in the last couple months, there have been a few times where I've done like a bean, like a chicken chili, like a black bean, or um, like a red bean or a pinto. And to me, after being on a very lean diet, the beans and that protein, it's just so satisfying and good. Where did that come from? I think that's like a sloth. Let me see you, little sloth. <laughs> it was right there? <laughs> Something else I did my first 30 days when I lost 12 pounds was I put two capsules, just the little cap here, of organic, raw, unfiltered, apple cider vinegar with the mother. I actually didn't have, I actually started with, oh, which one was it? The one I started with, I don't even think had the mother the first week or so until I got to the grocery store. Um, and this is the one I have at home. I know a lot of times people use, I think it's Bragg's or I can't remember the brand, you guys. It has the picture of the man up top. You guys know the one. But this is the one that I've been using and I just did this once a day, two capfuls in like 16 ounces of water. People have been using apple cider vinegar for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years for so many remedies. You guys Google apple cider vinegar, the results that you can get and the various cures that this whole thing can do for you is amazing. So this is something that I did once a day for the first 30 days. I am a big peanut butter fan and this is just so good. And I've always been a fan of, let's see, where is it? Oh, you know, you guys, the chunky one, the chunky Jif, whatever it's called. I think they're out of all of them. All they have is creamy. But I'm a Jif girl. I really love Jif. I tried this and it tastes so wholesome and good and it actually tastes a lot better than Jif. I mean, it has such a great taste. Now, you guys can kind of see the oil in the top and it might be due to the temperature. But what I did was I just mixed it up a little bit and I put it in the refrigerator. And then, well, once you open this, you actually have to keep it in the refrigerator, I believe. But I really like this peanut butter, and yes, it's a little more pricey, and you don't get as much, but it's a really good quality uh, peanut butter, in my opinion. I mean, there are lots of other peanut butters that you can try um, that are probably even better for you. But this is the one that I tried. It's not organic, but it's natural, and I really, really liked it. And that's also something that I really stuck to my first 30 days. This is what I ate pretty much every night, my first 30 days. I would have a grilled chicken breast on a plain salad. Sometimes I would even put apple in my salad, but I would eat one every night for dinner. And oftentimes I would even have one for lunch. I would have it for lunch with an apple or some vegetables or whatever. But you guys, my first 30 days, I really lived off the chicken breast and it was really satisfying. I brought it with me when I was running errands or whatever. And then 
I would also substitute one meal, one of my meals a day would be a green smoothie. And I will share that recipe with you guys at some point. I'll share with you my favorite recipe. And that's just filled with, um, you know, fruits and vegetables. But the chicken breasts really help me out. Um, chicken of any sort, basically just, you know, not eating the fat. I didn't eat any of the fat. Or a whole chicken and some veggies. Also, a favorite of mine is ground turkey. I don't really do much uh, red meat, but in my household, we love ground turkey, like a ground turkey patty, like a hamburger with veggies. Um, I would even dip it in some mustard because it has zero calories. But yeah, my first 30 days again was pretty much chicken, and I might have done turkey once or twice. In every green smoothie, I love to put in a whole frozen banana. And every once in a while, this is also a snack of mine. But I usually tend to have an apple as a snack if I'm gonna pick a fruit or maybe something else or a watermelon or something like that. But a banana is a good snack and sometimes I like to have one with peanut butter. You guys, I could eat so much watermelon in the summer and this is something that if you are just hungry or want something sweet, this definitely cures your sweet tooth as well as cantaloupes and grapes. I mean, these things are so good for us. Again, I'm not calorie counting on this diet. Um, I'm just eating when I'm hungry and I'll give you guys a little more structure here towards the end so you guys have a better idea of what a day looks like. For example, you guys, my day might start off with a green smoothie and I'll just drink the whole thing and I might take like an hour to drink it or maybe not. And then my lunch would usually consist of an egg with some sort of vegetable in it and maybe an apple. And then if I get hungry, my snack might be an apple um, or an apple and peanut butter um, or almonds or some sort of nuts like that. And then for dinner, I'll just basically eat with my family if it's meat. You know, I'll have like the meat portion of the dinner. I'll have um, meat and vegetables. My first 30 days, as I mentioned, I had chicken on a cut up piece of chicken, a cut up chicken breast on a salad, and then I'd have an apple. And that was pretty much my dinner for the first 30 days. But you know, I really like to switch it up. And you know, sometimes it works to have the regular meal with your family to where you're having everything minus the rice or minus the potatoes. Here's another item I love to put in my salads. I love to put some Roma tomatoes in my salads. And if I'm feeling like I need a little extra fat, or if I'm feeling a little deficient, then I love to cut open a ripe avocado and snack on that or put it in my salad. I mean, these are so satisfying to me. Satisfying in the same way that, that almonds are satisfying. Here are some really pretty limes. And sometimes I wanna have a little something to drink and I just cut the lime in half and twist it around the little, you know, the little lime thing that gets the juice out and put it into a glass of ice and water and then mix in a packet of stevia. And this is a nice zero calorie drink that you can have that's really refreshing and you really feel like you're having something that's flavored nicely, something tangy, and you feel like you're having a nice drink. Another delicious snack. And whatever your favorite fruits are, you guys, just throw this into your diet throw it into your list of snacks that you love. If you love mangoes, or if you love pineapples, eat what you like. I mean, the only thing that I really cut out of my diet was I cut out candy, coffee, rice, bread, and potatoes for the first 30 days. And then after the first 30 days, I would pick a time frame like, okay, I'm gonna go, 10 days and then maybe there was a birthday coming up. I'm gonna go 10 days and then maybe I'll have like a, a piece of cake at a birthday party or I'll go 20 days or I'll just, you know, pick a time frame until the next event comes up. And then I'll eat smart, you know, I'll have a smart dinner and then maybe I'll allow myself to have that special cake or milkshake or, you know, something that I want. Like I'm not having a full blown cheat day, but I am allowing myself to have something. That way you just don't go crazy and feel like you're losing control 
of this diet to where you're not having any joy in your eating. So, I mean, fruit is such a great way to feel like you're having something sweet if you have a sweet tooth. And, you know, you can just feel like you're really enjoying food with fruits. At least that's how it is for me. Here are the salads I usually get. And the thing about these salads is that they don't last very long. But this salad would usually be about two dinners for me. And this is just $1.48. They also have the bigger bags. But yeah, this would be about two meals for me. And I would put a chicken breast on it. Um, cut up the chicken breast, you know, add avocado or apple or tomato or whatever I wanted. And it was a really, really satisfying meal for me. Baby carrots is one of my favorite snacks. They're easy to take with you and they just always seem really satisfying. They're kind of sweet. I love to eat these, you guys, with eggs. They're so good. Or sometimes I just fry them in olive oil. I think they taste so good. They're just so satisfying. And here's another great snack idea. Plain celery, cut up celery. If you want something crunchy, it kind of takes away that desire to have chips. It's kind of nice to just crunch on something. I think it's the same way with the carrots. But I love to dip some of my slices in peanut butter. I mean, I've just always loved celery. And then I'm gonna show you guys my favorite spinach that I get. Now, this store puts it right under the little sprayer. And so it gets a little like wet and I don't think it stays very well because this bag has little tiny green holes in the back. But I think this is the best deal out there that you can get. These are, I think two, yeah, 294. And this is 16 ounces. This is one pound of spinach. When I make my smoothies, I usually take about two handfuls or two cups of spinach and I put them in my smoothies. I know some people that like to do green smoothies, they even pre-measure and freeze. Oh, look, the sprayer came on, you guys. Some people even like to pre-measure and freeze this. But in my opinion, once it's frozen, it doesn't have a very good taste. So if possible, go for fresh. I think it's gonna taste a lot better. And I also love to put spinach in my eggs. So this is just such a staple, you guys. And it's such a superfood. You can cook it, you can bake with it, juice it, blend it. It's such a, a good thing to eat. Again, I'm not a nutritionist or a dietitian, but it's rich in so many vitamins. And if you're a person that's not big into vegetables, you can slip this into your green smoothie, and the recipe I have is really amazing, but you could slip this into your green smoothie, and you won't even feel like you're eating a lot of vegetables. I mean, that green smoothie is so satisfying and so nourishing, and it really had me feeling so good. You guys, this way of eating is so beneficial, and if any of you out there are dealing with hypothyroidism, like I am, this diet is very in sync with what they recommend for people with hypothyroidism. You got the biggest watermelon of all time. Gator wants to show the biggest watermelon of all times. He found a big one. That is a big one. And it has seeds in it too. Seeds? Yeah, it does. Look. Oh, there's Monster Mutt. <laughs> yeah! Broccoli is another great item for breakfast or dinner that I sometimes have. Like I said, I really stuck with the, uh, <laughs> it's coming again, you guys. I really stuck with the salads for dinner, but broccoli is great anytime, breakfast, dinner, to have with your chicken or whatever. But you guys know that. I mean, it's such a great superfood. And there's my gator. Okay, I'm gonna do my outro now. Okay, bye bye. I'm gonna go with my um, Dalmatian monster mutt. Okay, well, hey, you guys. That's what I eat to lose weight. I just wanted to share some of the foods that I love to eat to lose weight. And you guys know that I'm doing the workout videos now. So if you like this video and haven't seen any of my workout videos, I hope you'll check out that playlist. I'm just getting started on my workouts, you guys, and I'd love for you to come along with me on my journey. Let's go ahead and do this together. So hey, you guys, if you like this video and you want to see more like this, hit the thumbs up button. Share with me down in the comments below. And if you haven't yet, hit that little button to subscribe. Well, all right, you guys. Thank you so, so much for watching. Bye. Bye. Bye, Bye guys. Have fun.